the Ericsson Ribbonet and Micronet Airblown Cabling Solutions. Ribbonet, the Ericsson Optical Fiber Installation System, has, since its introduction in 1999, become one of the most successful systems for fiber optic access network applications. In addition to the Ribbonet system, the Ericsson Micronet Airblown Microcable was introduced in 2004. This extends the benefits of airblown installation from the drop network to the feeder and distribution network segments. Ericsson has a worldwide presence in the market of optical cabling solutions. To date, Micronet and Ribbonet have been installed in more than 30 countries worldwide. The systems have continuously been evolving and Ericsson is now providing a complete end-to-end -end solution with all necessary components required to build a truly cost-effective and future-proof network. New Zealand is proud of its innovative spirit, a spirit embraced by Victor Communications and Ericsson New Zealand. In 2005, Ericsson partnered with Victor Communications, a network operator pioneering high-performance network solutions and set to bring New Zealand's broadband networks into the 21st century. In doing so, they also changed how fiber broadband to meet the challenge of providing comprehensive telecom services in Taipei 101, the world's tallest commercial building, Chunghua Telecom selected a customized in-building solution from Ericsson to benefit all Taiwanese operators. A breakthrough. Once again, Ericsson is at the forefront of technology so advanced it's breathtaking. It's a first-of-its-kind undertaking for the Philippines and Southeast Asia region. Our Micronet and Ribbonnet cabling systems are flexible, cost-effective and environment-friendly, yet designed to meet the ever-increasing demand on fiber-optic technology. Compared to conventional cabling, there are several benefits with airblown fiber and microcables in access networks. Reduced cost and time for installation and expansion, which leads to reduced capex. High performance and quality with a minimum number of splice points, which leads to reduced opex. Both the capex and the opex savings are based on the reduction of splice points to an absolute minimum. In the following example, is an area with single dwelling units. First, install a microduct assembly along the road. Secondly, prepare duct branches at fiber distribution terminals. Then, install a drop duct from the branch to the house. And finally, blow in the pre-connected fiber all the way from the house to the fiber distribution hub. As you can see, the only splicing is carried out in the fiber distribution hub. The main components of the Micronet Airblown microcable system are microducts and connectors, microcables, duct closures, and cable blowing tools. The installation of microcables requires microcable blowing equipment and a compressor capable of a pressure of 15 bars. For the installation of the Airblown fiber, Ericsson's handheld blowing tool is used together with a compact compressor. The installation of the ribbonet and the micronet systems are carried out in a similar way. First, the microducts are installed. Ducts are joined and branched using clip-on connectors. The cable is blown in, passing duct splices and branches. Blowing a fiber from an apartment usually takes just a few minutes. The fibers, which are delivered on reels with factory fitted connectors, eliminate splicing or termination of connectors at the installation site. Finally, all fibers at the concentration point is spliced towards incoming microcables. 
Very few fibre splices are required, thanks to the way the fibre is blown into an uninterrupted microduct system. The performance of the microduct and the microcable is verified in Ericsson's standardised test track. In this test, the installation time is monitored when installing 1000 meters or 3250 feet of microcable. For visibility, the cable is equipped with a light emitting diode mounted at the tip of the cable. Typical installation speed is 40 to 50 meters per minute. The cable is passing several 90 degrees bend and one 180 degree bend. The radius of the bends varies from 50 centimeters or 20 inch down to 30 centimeters or 12 inch. 1000 meters or 3250 feet of microcable was blown in within 21 minutes. The table shows typical installation lengths for the Ericsson Micronet microcable system. Typical installation distances are between 1500 to 2000 meters or 4900 to 6500 feet. Specially developed fiber units are blown into slim microducts. The technology minimizes the number of fiber splices required. To simulate worst possible installation conditions, the performance of the microduct and fiber unit is verified in the standardized drum test with 500 meters or 1640 feet of microduct. The acceptance criteria for the test is maximum 20 minutes. For visibility, Laser light is inserted into the blown fiber unit. Typical installation speed is 40 to 50 meters per minute. For short distance installations, such as installations in multi-dwelling units, up to 100 meters per minute can be achieved. Five hundred meters or sixteen hundred and forty feet of fiber was blown in within eleven minutes, well below the acceptance criteria. The table shows typical installation lengths for the Ribbonet airblown fiber system. For airblown fiber units with up to four fibers, typically up to one thousand meters or three thousand two hundred and fifty feet can be blown. Monitoring of critical parameters of the products during the manufacturing process, including inline control of geometry of cable, fiber unit, and duct. All ducts are individually tested for obstructions. Before final inspection, all fibers are measured by OTDR, Optical Time Domain Reflectometry. All products are designed for an expected lifetime of at least 20 years. The repair of air-blown microcables and blown fiber is as easy as the installation. A traditional cable solution requires one or two repair joints. The air-blown microduct solutions offer a splice-free repair with no extra splice points in the network. First, blow out damaged cable from the nearest handhole. Insert a new section of microducts. Blow in the new cable. Finally, splice at both ends of the new cable in existing joint closures. The fiber repair in multi-dwelling units 
follow the same principle. When using pre-connected fiber units, the only splicing required is located at the fiber concentration point of the building. The reduced number of splices and the straightforward and quick installation results in substantial cost savings. Some examples are greenfield installation of a single family unit area with 2,500 homes typically result in a 25% deployment cost saving compared to traditional cable installation techniques. A mix with multi-dwelling units and single family units in a brownfield environment with 1,200 homes typically results in 30% cost savings compared to pre-connected cable solutions. The Ericsson Ribbonet and Micronet air-blown fiber systems offer efficient and future-proof methods of providing broadband networks through optical fiber.